Hey everyone, it's Joy here for Honeybee Stamps. Today I created a 5x7 card using the Lovely Layers front porch and the front porch holiday add-ons. So here is that front porch die. You can see you have all these cute dies to make a really darling front porch. You have your layering guide. Then you have the add-ons for the uh, front porch. This is the Lovely Layers front porch holiday add-ons. I'm going to start with the main part of the holiday add-on. I die cut it from gray cardstock. I am using the Brilliant White ink from Honeybee Stamps. Just to lighten the gray cardstock, I wanted it to have a little more of a white look and then all the grout lines essentially between all of the stones looked a little more gray. Obviously you don't have to do that, you can leave that part out. Now here are the some of these pieces for the add-ons. You've got a snowman, a wreath, a cute little Christmas tree, Christmas lights, and so I'm going to put these together. So the eyes and the mouth are tiny, 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 tiny dots that I've die cut from black cardstock. He had a carrot nose. I just die cut that from white cardstock, colored it with a alcohol ink marker. We have his cute little hat with a little red stripe. Then we have, he has little arms with mittens. Now there's two pieces to the mittens and I forgot to cut the other little piece. It kind of goes on the wrist, but I forgot to use those pieces. I just did the two little mittens out of red card, car, excuse me, cardstock. And then you have his pieces for his little scarf. I'm gonna glue his arms on. The arms were die cut from a wood grain cardstock that I have in my stash. And now we have our cute little snowman. Then the bow is from Gold Mirror cardstock. I'm gonna place this on the wreath which I've die cut from green cardstock. I was gonna do two trees on the house, but I opted to not. I just did one little tree and it has a black, it's in a black pot, so you have two separate dies there. Then you have little bulbs and what look like little lights. I did the lights in gold and then the Christmas bulbs all in red. And I'm just putting them wherever I want and then I can fill in with the gold little I'm calling them Christmas lights because I think that's what they look like. So you could do those in multicolor. That would be really pretty too. And then there's that piece. Now the Christmas lights I have die cut from black cardstock, just the, the string and the base pieces for the lights. And then all of the little bulbs I have die cut from white cardstock. To me, this would be faster just to use a marker or whatever to color. So I'm just using some Copic markers to color the lights. To me, that was faster than having to die cut multiple colors of cardstock for all of these little Christmas lights. So I'm gonna get my last few on here and then we can color. I used um, Copic markers B24, Y11, R35, and YG25. And then I used Y38 for the lights behind the windows that we're gonna color here in just a little bit. I'm just counting and alternating because there was four colors. So every fourth color I've colored with the Copic marker. So now we have our little string of lights and look at how cute that looks. Okay, let's put our house together. Of course I've die cut everything off camera because it goes so much faster. I did want to set that piece aside to dry when we inked it because we're using a pigment, white pigment ink. It takes a minute to dry, but it was dry by the time I was done um, die cutting and putting together those little images. I have some wood grain cardstock and I'm die cut a few pieces from the wood grain cardstock. I wanted this piece here to have some dimension. So I'm going to pop it up with some foam adhesive strips and put that in place. I love the Lovely Layers collections from Honeybee Stamps. They really are easy to put together especially when you're looking at the layering guide, but for the most part, it's pretty self-explanatory. Then we have this wood frame here. I have die cut from white cardstock, but it, the die cut itself embosses wood grain into it. Then we have these two little pieces here that are gonna go towards the top here. You could also pop those up with foam tape, but I opted to not do that. I'm going to adhere those in place with some liquid glue, except for my liquid glue kept clogging for some reason. 
Then we have this cute base of our house. Then you have this white piece that is the base for the door and windows. So I've also die cut the window frames and the door from black cardstock. And once you put these in place, then it's also gonna show that you have a white frame, which ties into the white trim at the top of the house. So I'm gonna put these all in place. And I love a good black door. I think it pops, it's so pretty. Center that in place. And then this is where I'm gonna use the Copic marker in Y38. It's a softer yellow. I wanted to have a nice yellow glow for the windows. And we have the lights for out your front door light. So I'm coloring the back piece yellow here. And I have die cut them. I originally die cut them from black cardstock and then I changed my mind and die cut them from a gold mirror cardstock because the door and the windows were black. I thought it would be nice to change up the, the lights and do a gold mirror. Of course, there's a lot of die cutting with this uh, type of project, but it is so much fun. And I think you end up with a really fabulous card. So here I'm using that Copic marker Y38 to color in. It's just so much easier once your frames were already in and it doesn't matter if the marker gets on the black card stock because you're not gonna see it. And then that just adheres towards the bottom of the front porch. You kind of center it in there and now you've got this cute little front porch. Let's get our lights on there. There is also a mailbox that I die cut from black cardstock, but now I'm thinking it would also be cute in red cardstock because I am using the holiday add-ons for this. That would be cute too. The lights, the front porch lights have some foam tape behind it for dimension. And I'm also going to add some foam tape behind the mailbox as well. And I'm putting the mailbox on the left side because I want my tree on the right side. I will adhere these Christmas lights to the front. There's also a fun like swag that you could put that's in part of the add-ons that you could put up here. I opted to not use that. I'm gonna put the wreath on the front door. Now, I wanna start making the background scene. So I am using the Horizon Slimline borders to cut two pieces of from white cardstock, I want some snow drifts in the front yard. Again, this is a five by seven card because this uh, front porch is big. I mean, you could put it on an A2 size, but I knew I wanted to have the snowman kind of out in the yard. So I needed to create a yard. So I made a five by seven um, background. I am doing some ink blending with Salty Ocean and I am on purpose leaving it a bit splotchy I because I'm going to spritz on the background. I want it to feel like snow is falling. So I'm taking my Distress Sprayer, spritzing on the background, wiping it off and letting it, um, wiping off the excess water. Then I'm going to adhere my house or my front porch. I'm using tape runner and liquid glue because my cardstock is still a little bit wet. So the tape runner will hold it down right now and then the liquid glue will dry and it's not gonna pop up while the um, background is drying. I have two pieces of snow drifts that I'm gonna put in place. I want these to have some dimension. I also added foam adhesive behind that cute little Christmas tree so it looks like it's standing a little bit away from the house. I'm going to add my first snow drift. And as you can see, I have it coming up, covering up some of the bottom of that front porch. I want it to look like there's a lot of snow and then you can pop that snowman in on the other side. I am using the Heart Be Light Sentiments. I'm stamping Merry Christmas with red ink and I'm going to use the coordinating dies to cut this out. I love really small sentiments. I think they're so pretty. So that's why I opted to use this, but I wanted to do it in red so it stood out and brought red to the other side of the um, card because you have so much red on that snowman. So I'm going to adhere this in place. I'm leaving that bottom snow drift completely blank. And then we, I wanna add some more snow. So I am using the Winter Wonder Gem stickers and I'm using the white ones. And I love that they have different sizes. That's my favorite type of gem sticker or sequence or whatever it is. I love to have different sizes. So I'm going to put this all over the background, heavier at the top, and then just a few coming down the side, which is going to give us more of the illusion that it's actively snowing. 
These are stickers, so they already have adhesive onto the back. And as you can see, that's adding just a really fun detail to our background card. This is a simple scene, and I just think it turned out so pretty. So let's take a look at this really close. That front porch die and holiday add-on is just absolutely darling. I love this so much, and I will adhere this to a white 5x7 card base. Thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching. I hope that you enjoy this project, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye!